Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a first impressions video for you all. It's going to be different from any other first impressions that I've ever done on my channel. It's going to be on two brushes. So these two brushes were gifted to me from Sigma. Um, this is not sponsored. They did not pay me. Like all opinions are 100% my own as if I did actually fork out the cash for this. Um, yeah, it is 100% my own. Do not think that because these were gifted to me that it swayed my opinion in any way, shape, or form, because it hasn't. Um, yeah, it has not at all. So yeah, if you'd like to see my opinion on these two brushes, the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki and the Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by applying foundation because that's the way that I'd normally apply my makeup. So I'm gonna be using the 3D HD Kabuki um, so that's obviously the bigger one of the two and I'm just going to be using it with a foundation that I know how it works with different brushes and different application methods because I've been using it for so long it's the bourgeois happy light foundation I really really enjoy this foundation it's a good good drugstore one especially for my fake tan that I'm wearing today so how I apply my foundation generally is I apply it to my face and then I just buff it in with a brush. So that's what I'm going to be doing today because that's how I always apply foundation. So, so far, just from applying it, it really feels like a paddle brush. If you don't know what a paddle brush is or you call it something else, it's just one of those flat brushes. Um, yeah, that's so far how it's feeling on my face um, in terms of application. And I don't really feel like I can buff with it because I don't really have a buffing surface. Like I can only really, oh, yeah, I can kind of buff. But when I buff, it kind of just sweeps the foundation away. Like, oh, I don't like that. I think the best way to use this brush from first impressions is to just use it in sweeping motions. Could you just hear my sheep? Excuse them. <laughs> Um, yeah, I feel like this brush, the best way to use it is to actually sweep the foundation across and it does do a good job of that. If you love buffing in your foundation, I don't think this would be very good just because it doesn't really have the properties of a buffing brush just because it is angled. So it does more wipe product away. Um, I think that's due to the fact that some of the bristles are longer, some of them are shorter. I'm not too sure. But so far, I think the best way to apply it is by brushing it out, similar to a paddle brush style. I do like how you can use the kind of point to the brush to go around the lip, um, so you don't have foundation lips, you can kind of just really carve out that lip area, I quite enjoy that. Mm, I'm pretty neutral on this brush so far, like I'm not very, like I don't think it's a be all end all brush, but I don't think it's a terrible brush either. Um, it's definitely a nice change to a flat top kabuki brush, um, similar to this one, the F80 that Sigma does, um, but it's not like a be all end all brush, at least in my opinion. Like it just, it applies foundation quite nicely and you can get into the crevices quite easily as well due to the nature of the brush. But then again, with these brushes, I would just be using the end of the brush to get in, in that area. So I don't really know. Like not a bad brush but it's also not like a be all end all brush I find. It's definitely a different style of application to say the traditional flat top kabuki brush because it's more of a swiping motion but it's not like a bad different it's more just a neutral different. I feel like it is more effective than a paddle brush though like when I was first using it like just the pulling down of it is kind of like a paddle brush because you're like painting it onto your face. But the fact that it's got the other side where, because how I did it was I was using one side with the product and then I was kind of like using the other side to kind of blend it out just so even if I did have a little bit too much in one spot, it could kind of like move elsewhere, if that makes sense. So it was quite nice. Like I'll definitely not recommend it if you are if you love buffing motions, like circular buffing motions. I don't think this is a brush for you. But if you just want a different method of application it is quite a nice one now for under my eyes i'm just going to quickly dab on some bobby brown corrector in the shade peach under my eyes with my finger because i always do that but then i'm going to go in for my nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade vanilla and then i'll use the hd precision black brush to blend it out so 
I'm just going to be taking my 3D HD precision brush and I'm just going to try and blend all this out and see if there's any difference. I do like how the tip allows you to get really, really, really close to your eye. And if you really enjoy doing that, you know how some people, they love doing that super crisp, um, smoky eye? I feel like that would be an amazing thing to kind of like touch up your concealer there because it does have that point. Because so far I've got a really, really sharp line where my concealer is. I don't know if you're able to see. This brush, so far, it seems like it can complete flop for concealer like it's not really blending it out it's just blending it out <laughs> like pushing it out it's not really doing anything in terms of blending like I used a lot of concealer but I use that much concealer every day but it didn't blend out that highlighting concealer at all I need to go in with that bigger brush and see if that will fix it so I'm just going to take the bigger one again the HD Kabuki and I'm just going to try and blend everything out This does such a better job at blending out everything than the smaller brush. I feel like that would be good if you wanted to carve out your eyebrows maybe or something like that. Or if you just wanted that straight line. But then again, this does that as well. No, I definitely like this brush so much better. Yep, I definitely like this brush so, so much better. The same reasons why I like the smaller brush, it can get really, really up close in my eye, but also blends out my concealer really, really fast. For sure, I like the, the Kabuki brush way more than the Precision brush. I feel like the Precision brush, Precision, <laughs> Precision brush does nothing. But the Kabuki brush, I actually really, really, really like the concealer. For foundation, it was pretty average, I'm not gonna lie. But for concealer, that was so easy and it did such an amazing job so fast. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else for me to say. Um, yeah, I definitely like the larger brush opposed to the smaller brush. Um, if I had to tell you to get one, get the Kabuki. It's really, really good, especially if you love your concealer. If you love your concealer as much as I love my concealer, get this brush, it is so good. Um, it just pats everything in so nicely. You can get all up close and personal into your like lash line area without like worrying bristles are gonna get into your eye because it is that perfect shape. Like a lot of the time I'll use this brush from Models Prefer. Um, this is the airbrush foundation brush for my concealer. But sometimes I get worried that the larger bristles go into my eye and it kind of hurts sometimes. So I'm, I really, really enjoy this brush, how the brush is kind of peak, so you won't have any like random brush hairs going into your eye. Really, really like this brush. This brush, the smaller one, is a complete flop, but the big one, I really like it. I would personally recommend it, and I'm not just lying about that. Foundation, it's pretty average, but for concealer, oh my dear God, I love it. This does nothing, it sucks up your concealer. This is perfect. I don't know why it's so much better than the smaller one, but it's just perfect. Seriously. I don't think there's anything else for me to say, so I'm going to go now, but please don't forget to like and subscribe. You have no idea how much it helps me out. Um, yeah, and comment down below some other first impressions that you'd like to see from me, and I'll try and do those for you. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.